I'm going to showcase Brussels sprouts. It's just a power health food today, full of nutrients. And it's just, there's ways to prepare them that they're great. My wife and I probably have them three, four times a week mixed in with our stuff. If you want to know how to prepare them, call her because she knows much better than me. 314-843-9355 is our office. She'll tell you how to prepare Brussels, Brussels sprouts so they taste great. Okay, so these are the main ingredients, or not, not ingredients, the main nutrients, and these are other nutrients. So, iron, big in Brussels sprouts. I mean, a lot of iron in Brussels sprouts. We need iron for, you know, for example, making red blood cells. It helps with our hormones. Vitamin K, that's the next one. Uh, you know, we need that for our bones. We need that for blood clotting. So, vitamin C has K, P, uh, P and J factor. P is for vascular integrity. I talk about that one a lot. K is for blood clotting. J is for oxygenation, getting oxygen through the blood. And so uh, vitamin K, big player when it comes to our health. Calcium, most abundant mineral in the body. Um, we need it for our bones. Um, we need the proper calcium, and we've got it in Brussels sprouts. Fantastic. So um, we need it for muscle, our muscles. We need it for... Uh, all our soft tissues, we need it for hormone secretion, nerve transmission, of course, um, many, you know, many things. I'm not thinking of cellular signaling, we need calcium. Uh, look at this guy, selenium. Selenium is a big player, it's a trace mineral. Selenium helps in your thyroid conversion from T4 to T3. So, um, let's say your TSH is high and the T4 is not converting to T3, selenium as well as copper, as well as iodine, helps that uh, conversion. So it, the, the thyroid stops screaming up to the hypothalamus, hey, I need more thyroid hormone because it's converting to T3, which is what you need. Okay, so fiber, a lot of fiber in Brussels sprouts. Fiber is good for cardiovascular health, it's good for bowel function, uh, let's see, balancing healthy cholesterol. And it's, you know, we need fiber um, for bowel, just bowel motility to keep things moving. Uh, so, what a, you know, another fantastic thing about Brussels sprouts. Uh, manganese. Manganese we need, for example, ligament strength, things like that. Magnesium. Uh, magnesium, one thing, it's great for the heart. Uh, mitral valve prolapse patients should be on magnesium. And it's a food-based magnesium. Not just go over the counter and, and get magnesium. You need magnesium that comes from food. I'm always talking about that. The body thrives on food. That's why food's your best medicine. And so the body, you know, we need the proper magnesium. Uh, people with microbiome prolapse need to take food-based magnesium. So uh, magnesium, by the way, I put a little line here. Potassium rides on magnesium. They, they can't, they have to be together to work. Um, you know, so magnesium and potassium, unless they bind together, they won't be helpful. Folate. Folate is the beginning of red blood cell production. B12 is the end. Very important red blood cell production. And we get it from Brussels sprouts. B6, vitamin C, which would have all three of those factors I just mentioned, plus other things. Um, vitamin E, which food-based vitamin E, which you get from Brussels sprouts, would have selenium. Niacin, thiamine, copper. Copper helps with, uh, one of the things it helps with is oxygen transfer from the lungs to the blood. I mean, that's extremely important. And uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus is great. If a heart rate is slow, phosphorus can, you know, bring it back up. Heart rate is like 40. And that, of course, I'm not saying go out and get phosphorus and just do that. You need to be, see a healthcare provider that knows about nutrition and knows what you exactly need. And so the other one I threw in here, for Brussels sprouts is zinc. There's actually more than this. I didn't include everything. Zinc, um, zinc, just about every cell in the body needs it. The prostate needs it. The prostate also needs calcium. Linoleic, linoleic acid will drive calcium to the prostate. The prostate hardens from the inside out, and you got to get the calcium down back in there. Zinc, big player. Don't go over the counter and get zinc picolinate. Won't do you one bit of good. You need food-based zinc. Remember, the body needs food, and that's when we use a supplement. Let's say we're eating Brussels sprouts, and we're eating all these things and these foods we look at, but we might not be getting enough zinc, for example. That's when we use a food-based supplement, which is, is concentrated uh, down into a, just they dry it, 
they concentrate it down so you're getting so much more than you can get in diet. I can't eat 20 pounds of Brussels sprouts a day. But with a concentrated food supplement, you know, say if I was wanting zinc. Um, so I can't eat 20 pounds of that to get all my zinc. So I use a concentra concentrated food supplement on patients to get that for a while so we can build those levels up. So Brussels sprouts, just a great food. They taste great if you prepare them right. And you get, you can see tons of things the body needs. The body needs nutrients. The body needs enzymes and these vitamins. And they all come from food. So um, Brussels sprouts, power food. Make sure you start incorporating those into your diet.